Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're going to take a break from educational websites and we're going to go to another site that may be useful for you for this time of the year if you are dealing with secret Santas. So if you have any situation where each family member only has to buy one gift and you get assigned names, anything along the secret Santa line, then this is the website that can help you manage that and it's called drawnames.com. So we're going to go through it and see what it It's a great way to manage your secret Santa for various groups and what's great about it is that you can use use it every year. So I've already created an account and logged on. It is free. So, so let's go start drawing names. So I'm going to put my name in to say continue. Yes, we want to draw names. And then it tells me who are the other members in our group that we're going to be doing a secret Santa with. So I'm going to enter them in quickly. So I added a bunch of names. So we've got six people in our group and I'm going to click here on continue. So you can set exclusions. In other words, especially if you've got groups where there are couples and you don't want the couples to draw each other. So yes, we do want to set exclusions. So I'm going to say that. I'm going to say, for example, Bruce and Diana, let's say they are a couple. So they are not, Bruce cannot buy for Diana. And then we can say that Diana can't buy for Bruce. So maybe that is our only exclusion. You can add more. We're going to click on continue. What do we want to draw names for? There's a whole bunch of options over there. You can put others. So maybe you want to use this in a classroom setting for a particular activity. So you could do something like that. We're just going to keep it for Secret Santa and we're going to give our group a name. So this is for Secret Santa 2024 because you might have multiple Secret Santa groups for maybe one for family and one for work. You can maybe change this to Secret Santa demo so that I can use it again for another Secret Santa group that I want to do this year. Click continue and we can specify when it's being celebrated. So let's say we do another day before Christmas on Christmas Eve and we can set the limit of how much people are allowed to spend. Now this is in dollars but you can just pretend it is in the currency of the country that you want. Let's say you want to keep it to 100 Rand so we'll keep it to that. And what is your message for your group? You give you a, a template for a message but you can change that if you want. And then how do you want to send the invitation? Now you can do it via WhatsApp. Now if you do it by WhatsApp you can copy this invitation and it's got the link already there which you can then use in your groups. We're going to go back rather. You can just use the link if you want to just use the link or you can email it and you can actually fill in the email addresses of all the different participants in your groups. So I'm just going to use the link here. So I'm going to copy this invitation and visit the group page. And so here we've got our dashboard for our group. So we've got everything set up. So what this will then do is that when you send the invite, so this is what it will look like to the people that have got the link. What is your name? So which one are you in the group? So you could say I am Bruce, for example, and you can fill in your email address and you can join the group. I'm now a member of the group. It's got my details. Now I can make a wish list, for example, of things that I want. So you can specify which one you want. So you can say mail, continue, you can specify your age. Let's pretend Mr. Long's 21 and make a wish list. And we can go search for particular gifts or we can just go and add them if we want. So these are all from a particular site. You can say maybe we want Lego and maybe there's certain items that you can click on. Obviously it keeps it to the actual category, but we can clear these filters if you want. So let's say we want to add that. Add to wish list. And there's my wish list. Maybe I only want those items. We can go back to our default page and there we can see our wish list and we can draw a name. And my name is Natasha. So that's the person that I'm going to be allocated to. Now, obviously, that person hasn't been set up yet, but if we did, we would be able to see their particular wish list. Over here on our dashboard, we can see that Bruce has been activated and it's got some stuff on the wish list. So, a great little useful tool. You you can send a reminder if people haven't done all of the setting up. And then as I said, what's really nice is that you can then use this again next year. And part of the exclusions, you can actually make, it'll actually ask you, do you want to allow it to select people that the same people as what you were last year? So for example, I have drawn Natasha, but next year I don't want to draw her again. I would like to draw someone different each time. So you can set that up as well when you do multiple years. So a really great, useful website that can set up your secret centers. Obviously, it's nice to make sure that everyone gets on board by going going to the website and registering but draw names is the website to go to so go check it out go use it for christmas this year and i'm sure it'll make your secret santa go a lot more smoothly if you are celebrating christmas or any other celebrations this holiday i wish you all the best for this holidays and i hope you have a pleasant festive season make sure that you subscribe to our teacher tips channel at mr long teacher tips as well as follow us on tiktok at mr long education we've got lots of useful tips for there for both teachers and general people and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way